province, and for the people of the province in particular. The development of Muskrat Falls will also be a collaborative effort by the people of our province and the Innu Nation. And let me tell you, there's a lot to be excited about in Newfoundland and Labrador. Our province has never been in a stronger position. Kathy Dunderdale was sworn in as the province's 10th Premier on December 3rd, 2010. But her story doesn't begin at a press conference. Kathy's story begins in the small rural community of Buren, and it is here where one can start to learn about who Kathy Dunderdale really is. Kathy grew up one of 11 children. Her father, like many Newfoundlanders and Labradorians, supported the family by working in the fishery and in the woods. We grew up in a loving home. We had lots of fun together. All of our, our family are close. Um, Mom and Dad were great role models in our, in our life. We all loved them and they always taught us that we could do whatever we wanted to do. All of our family, I think Kathy is a focal point in our family, all of us. Kathy was always a leader and a go-getter. She was the one, whether it was by school uniforms or whatever, she would, uh, she would represent the students and fight the, fight the cause. Kathy fell in love and married Peter Dunderdale and together they had two children, Sarah and Tom. Uh, confident, she, her, the strong woman. I mean, you know, raising her two children, and while well, her husband was a master mariner at sea, and, and he would go away for extended periods of time. Anybody that needed her time and attention, she always had time for it. Kathy's passion for her community led her to serve on the Buren Town Council. In the early 1980s, Dunderdale's fighting spirit was instrumental in reversing a decision to shut down the Buren fish plant. I know she was one of the people who was very strong in keeping the plant as to what we have today, because only for the hard work of those people at that time, uh, we probably would not have a plant at this time. Kathy's professional life saw her working as a social worker and with the fishery after the cod moratorium. Her volunteer life saw her involved with countless organizations that needed someone willing to roll up their sleeves. It was these years of leadership and community service that naturally led her to a path of provincial politics. Elected to the Newfoundland and Labrador House of Assembly in 2003, she served in various positions in the provincial government. As Minister of Natural Resources, she played a significant role in the signing of several multi-billion dollar development deals. In October 2008, Kathy was appointed Deputy Premier. And last December, that girl who grew up in Buren became the first female Premier of Newfoundland and Labrador. History was made. As expected, she wasted little time making her mark. Within days of becoming Premier, she ended the doctor's dispute and resolved a long strike with home care support workers on the Buren Peninsula. As a councillor in a small town and then end up in the Premier's there in the province, certainly an accomplishment that not too many people in their lifetime would ever imagine. Throughout her life, Kathy has shown an insight and compassion that cannot be matched. On her journey to where she is today, her dedication to the people of this province has never wavered, even in the darkest of times. In 2006, the love of Kathy's life, Peter, lost his battle with cancer. But Kathy stayed strong. A trailblazer in her community, in municipal politics, and in her significant role securing equity agreements for development of our natural resources. A trailblazer in working to ensure such agreements allowed for gender diversity. A trailblazer in being the first female premier of Newfoundland and Labrador. Kathy Dunderdale is a strong, confident, and inspiring leader. All my life, I've taken full advantage of opportunities to stand up boldly to make a difference. I am invigorated today and every day as I contemplate the amazing potential and the bright future of our province. I know what a good worker she is. She worked hard all her life. A great leader, she always was. She's a grandmother and she's a mother and you want to see her with her family and her compassion and her honest caring. That's a common touch where sometimes we, we don't see enough of the politicians. Sincerity, honesty, straightforward, hardworking. Our support for you is always there, like we're behind you 100%. You've always been a leader, you've always been somebody I've admired, and you will do good for this place. We are so proud of you, and 
everything you've done. Kathy, I would say continue on the path that uh, you've started. Uh, being sincere and honest and open with people, you are going to do one really great job. Newfoundland and Labrador, a province that's stronger than ever, with a leader stronger than ever.